Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How is my favorite chat doing? Welcome, welcome. Good morning to Nagesh. Welcome in. Hi, Harshal. Welcome. Let me actually edit this one. Why I cannot do that yet? Let's copy. Uh, paste. Right. Uh, Mahdi, welcome in Stonebreaker, welcome as well. Uh, Pidlord, welcome. Sam, hello, hello. Gumball, welcome in. Thank you very much for joining. We have Ryan, uh, we have Yaki, welcome. Bikiran, welcome. Suk, welcome as well. Alak Sheet, hello, hello. Uh, Susie, so do Indian Riders. Uh, if I'm correct, they're in the lower bracket. So right now we will have only two matches which are happening at the same time and that's a uh, top bracket. So a lower bracket will be starting in the round two if I'm correct there. Hi Sporak, ahoy, ahoy, welcome in. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. Let me check exactly the schedule here. Like there are some big of the wars which I don't want to miss, but this is like the final final round of the upper bracket after everything will be uh the lower bracket hi moxtasim welcome good morning care of for earth good morning yeah we will be uh we will be setting up the predictions so we will go with synchronic versus uh mmg that's the match we will be covering and after we will be focusing on the lower bracket so who will win let's set it up so we have uh synchronic synchronic lower batches the matches are also happening okay versus mmg hi ayat welcome tenzin welcome is bikaroni okay i will try to remember that Apologize for it. Thoughts on the new update? Mm. Uh, what did you see? What was uh, what update was up? Uh, what sneak peek was uh, going out today? Sorry, I didn't work on sneak peeks uh, today at all. Let me see. Today is fourteen. So what came out? no three hours today because yes uh yeah perfect thank you mahedi yes three hours i will be covering today because i have some work to do sadly so i'm not gonna be able to cover the last two uh rounds but that's fine there's still gonna be plenty of streamers so i will just host and you guys can watch oh today was a uh, pet as well right okay yeah sorry i just uh, wasn't sure i i don't want to say something was <laughs> wasn't posted so yes uh, what i think about update uh the pet is op pet is uh such a unique one uh i could do so many crazy stuff i i love to use the pet on the warden it's so cool i just don't know how like what I was using that it was like kind of warden walk with the pet. So the warden went for the defenses, right? Uh, but I you don't really doing warden walk in this kind of meta yet. But it's really cool pet. I like it. New defenses we knew that are like new level. We knew that's coming. So that's I'm always in for that. So Angry Jelly, yeah. It's good, it's cool one. Yes. Eagle and Monolith. Yes. I like we knew, like, it's always like they uh, add first half of the defenses which gonna get the new level and after the another one. So we knew that the new levels are coming. So that was like only about the time. Uh, it is interesting uh, because there will be like we know that there are always sneak peeks and after the update coming 
right? So is that update gonna be coming before the monthly finals, which could change a lot, you know? So curious, curious. Terminator, hello, welcome, welcome in. Thank you very much for uh, joining. Stylish, hello. Did you catch up on the uh, matches yesterday? There were some really OP ones. Hi, beauty. Will you look at my account? I'm sorry, I'm not doing base review, but if you have any questions, like feel free to ask in the chat and we will try to help you. What will happen if you use Angry Jelly with the Warden? It will be going for the defenses. Yeah, it's make your Warden just targeting the defenses. So it's kind of cool. Apps, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Chili, welcome. Yaga, welcome as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, I think so that the order word will be covered by every streamer. So I think so this is a good one. And I like it when we were streaming yesterday, Synchronic versus Tribe. I really enjoy uh, attacks there. There were some really cool hits. So maybe we're gonna get spoiled today and we're gonna see some uh, uh, OP hits as well. So this is like actually final day of the monthly qualifier for the April. If you're a little bit confused, it is first golden ticket tournament, okay? So that's gonna be actually four uh, monthly qualifiers and each qualifier has one golden ticket. So the team start yesterday, there was 128 teams. They were fighting in the double elimination bracket. A lot of big teams are already out and many of the big teams are actually in the lower bracket but where everything is about a single elimination. Right now, in the upper bracket, we have two, the four teams left. So we have Navi and Anarchia and we have MNG and Synchronic. So good news for these teams uh, is they are already in the top six. So even the teams which lose today in the upper bracket, they will qualify for the monthly finals. They will be playing about the seeding. So if the team which wins right now, because we will have two matches from the upper bracket, team which wins, they will be advancing to the next weekend and they will be skipping the first round which every team wants, right? Because you will go immediately to the semi-final of the playoff for the golden tickets. That's huge. So this is a very, very important. So we have Synchronic versus MMG and we have Navi versus Anarchia, okay? So that's how uh will be. Yeah, guys, Navi is cover everything and I cover Navi every day. Even yesterday we cover Navi. If that happened that Navi lose, I can promise you I will cover them next round. But that's only if they lose. Uh, Synchronic proving, uh, proving uh, their openness. Yeah, Synchronic were really, really good. With the new Yeti levels, uh, then Synchronic Yeti spam attack could be meta with the... I don't know. Uh, it was interesting. Joe, ahoy, hello. Explain brackets. So, yeah, that's what they were trying... I didn't notice. I actually got a lot of messages today telling me that top four teams are already in the top six. So how it is working is that teams from the to two, to two top teams from upper bracket are advancing to top six and the four teams from the lo lower bracket, right? But because the teams which are gonna lose this round yeah, there's gonna be two teams from upper bracket will, which are gonna lose. They will move to the lower bracket, but they will be joining the lower bracket where there's only four teams left. So they are automatically gonna be in the top six. They're just gonna be playing for the seeding in the bracket. Like, uh, I can show you what is very important right now for the teams. This. So right now, two matches from upper bracket are kind of fighting for the this seeding, seed one and seed two. So they will be like kind of skipping round one of the monthly finals, which is huge. Like you actually going to the semifinal, you know, and skipping the first round. Amazing. So that's what they want. So Synchronic, MMG, Navi and Anarchia. These are the four teams which are fighting right now for seed one and seed two. The teams which lose, they will uh, be fighting for this seed. Uh, we have still plenty of teams in the lower bracket. It's not over for them yet. Um, 
but i will be focusing on uh this war and after we will go like you can see the tri gaming is waiting in the lower bracket so that's gonna be a really good right now these wars in this you know imperium titans versus these are the wars same time happening like war of the synchronic and now you are right so i'm very very curious and this is what i'm talking about so if they see like look at this very ngt legends x team early bird they lost yesterday and they got added to the bracket like this so the teams which lose from upper bracket they will be already in the in the top four so they made it lose what who lost if they lose <laughs> oh wow don't talk about lost here you know <laughs> so uh we will be giving you update about these wars as well but some big one um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna be streaming around two round two will be interesting because it could be like bathroom riders versus reckoning which will be interesting we could stream try gaming war ea war hmm we have to decide what we're gonna be streaming guys for the next round hi winter hello thank you very much guys for joining sashi welcome i apologize if i cannot really read every your comment uh, especially during this kind of streams it's hard to keep up with everything so uh i apologize if if i uh, miss your comment stream home sweet home but you guys are out <laughs> what do you want me to stream <laughs> yeah i think we could do try gaming the round two yeah eight screen of course we have eight screen but first of all let's why we why mmg has uh... do we have mmg logo we need mmg logo can someone send me mmg logo is my head is still here we need mmg logo because <laughs> i don't know why is it showing uh it is for one all right we have philip mark simon einstein and general x for mmg we have tryhard mammoth kingsman temper and natura hi sanidia welcome yeah let's check the eight screen all right set it up see the mmg logo was working here why is not are they using different clan Please tell me the eight screen work. I can't have it another day. Uh, Nacho was also playing with the MC, MSC sport. It's good, actually. Uh, it's not working. I don't. Regal is uh, away. Yeah, we lately have really bad uh, problems with the stats. Oh, rip. Okay, that's one work. I don't know if that was you or me. I, I don't know if that was you or me. All right, now I need to uh, find the logo of MMG. <laughs> because I don't know why it's showing the old, some weird one. Like not weird logo, I mean the wrong theme. Okay. All right, so I'm guessing I cannot control the screen. You will have to control it. Okie dokie. Uh... Let me message Mahadi if he has. Hmm. 
Mm. I have a feeling the stats are not working. I could be wrong. Oh, thank you, MT. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's see if Vahedi can save me. Uh, any idea about being shown by other streamers? I think so. Everyone is streaming Navi versus Anarchia. I think like every. I could be wrong. I don't think so. Someone going with the lower bracket. Eddie Coco. I have short legs. Yeah. Uh, style. I don't know what Carbon Film will be streaming. Zolo. <laughs> Yeah, everyone is streaming uh, Navi versus Anarchia. Maybe uh, Carbon Film will be streaming something different, but I am not sure. I cannot see. So we have to check. Hi, Mickey. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you for showing me that. Yeah, that's so much easier to see the stuff. Okay, just small. I cannot change the logo that way, so I'm gonna do it like this. Sorry. I don't know. I have feeling the stats are just not listening to me the first hour of the stream. They are always like stubborn. What do you mean TWB versus who? TWB is not playing, guys. They are not playing. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one. This doesn't matter. Just small background for it. And okay, maybe I should have black black background. That would make more sense, right? Just trying to hide the previous logo. <laughs> That's what I'm trying, sorry. Yes, Navi is playing, but guys, we are uh, covering Synchronic versus uh, MMG. If you guys want to watch Navi, every streamer on the planet is streaming that. Okay, perfect. I actually can now explain you the bracket uh, better. Thank you, Tupero, for sending that. Uh, one more thing. Can I have one of my moderators over on YouTube to help answer the questions for me? If you guys, any of you can.
gaff, I know. <laughs> oh, I cannot download it fast enough. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's totally fine. See? You don't even notice. It's perfect. Look at this. For the last minute, it's amazing. The logo is there. <laughs> logo is there. Hi, Mike. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So quiet without music. Oh, you guys cannot hear the music. Oh, where? why no one say about it? All right, now I can uh, read everything, guys. Sorry for that. I just was fixing the chat uh, and everything. So, welcome, welcome, everyone. We are live with the monthly qualifier for April day two. We have Synchronic versus MNG. Both teams hasn't lost single match in the monthly qualifier. They were amazing. And now, which of them will be advancing the monthly final from upper bracket, which is so, so important for them, as they will be skipping the first round of the next weekend, and they will go straight into the semi-final for the golden ticket. Steven is opening for Synchronic and coming in here with the Root Riders. As you can see, lately now we are seeing many teams are actually bringing the jump for the king. So that way you kind of can split the king from the Root Riders and still letting him to uh, clear up some of the good defenses. Town Hall already clear here. Uh, still have huge group of the Root Riders already deploying a bunch of uh, super parts. So as we are trying to speed up this attack, Root Riders are now finding some of the test class. Royal Champion is there. We will be using the Haze and the Hawk on the RC. And Queen already sniping the multi inferno and this is very good attack by simon because the timing is amazing as well so he definitely has to be happy one minute guys one minute four second wow is navi and queen walker the same yes navi is their sponsor that's why they are uh changing why they have the name you know Yeah, like we are streaming Navi every day, guys. Every day. You missed the attack? What can I say? Simon. <laughs> Hi, Meg. Hello. Okay, we can check. So there, there are these matches, which are from lower bracket. All these matches are single elimination matches, okay? Uh, so Imperium Titans with the triple reckoning we have with the three star. Uh, Nagash, you have reckoning twice. I don't know if you are here. Uh, in the screen, uh, Entropy hitting the triple against VA. Uh, Yen hitting the three star against Pentaflare, Headstar, Nico with the three star, and Indian Riders, as you can see with the Method Mondays, hasn't used the attack yet. Um, there are two Method Madness teams, okay, that's uh, uh, confusing. Yeah, if you can, there is like two Reckoning. Perfect, thank you. That one was insane fast attack, it was. I never end, hello. You are welcome, Snake. Uh, my team lost so bad to MMG in the qualifier. Which one was your team? Nagesh must be moderator of the year. If you s you have no idea how much work he did yesterday, he actually used the paper and pen to s to get information about the bracket and after because he's using one device, the phone. Right? So he had to go to the game to check the bracket and after, you know, <laughs> like, it was tough, but he did it really, really well. All right, so Synchronic, amazing time for them. We have one minute, four second triple by Simon. Now we have Nacho going in here. We'll be using the Rude Riders as well. 
Uh, already deploying huge group of them from nine o'clock on and look at the ice actually joining them we will be bringing the jump for the king so again we will be using the uh giant gauntlet and we have the healer puppet and frozen arrow on the queen <clears throat> all right so right now everything is under wooden ability but we have healers in the range of the multi inferno so it would be lovely to get rid of the multi inferno quickly i see triggering some of the giant bombs we will be ending on the town hall but not big issue you still have huge army of the rude rider even using the uh, golem tanking for the queen for a second the expo was on the uh, queen but now it changed the golem so the queen is totally fine and look at the timing of the rude riders opening the wall for the queen so she can sneak in and now help with the town hall already using bunch of skelly spells as well trying to distract the final defenses valka right now on the cleanup duty i with the haze and the hoggies taking the final defenses down and mmg i have to say this is a very really fast street star but synchronic build different <laughs> they really hit a crazy triple like right now mmg with the one minute 13 seconds but synchronic one minute four seconds if this is gonna be about the time synchronic definitely start really really well all right let's check first attacks of this lower bracket uh matches vn esporting nd with the three star there method of madness with the 91 percent damien uh hitting the triple for reckoning uh, Agnistar as well with the three star, COC Ward with the triple, Indian Riders are uh, pretty with the three star, VA with the triple. I think so. We also have to kind of look at the time here. VA is for definitely was faster than attack from Entropy. Same story for Imperium Titans here. Um, 20 star hit a 3 star, but that wasn't fast attack. 2 minutes 16 seconds there. Uh, Penta Flare very fast hit 1 minute 16 seconds they can be happy kuro thank you very much thank you thank you very much for the 63 months welcome old man i hope some of you are doing well let me spam some emotes for you all right we also have anarchia and the navi happening the same time right now patolino was faster then p castro one minute 21 seconds for patolino one minute 36 seconds for navi And I do with the old man joke. Oh, come on. You love it. You know it. Can we see VM Legacy and COC Ward? Uh, is VM Legacy playing right now? I. We show the lower bracket. We will show the lower bracket matches again after next hit. Uh, IOP or everywhere. You can uh, log in on Twitch. Every streamer streaming them on Twitch. You can check the YouTube. There is many streamers in different language covering Navi match. So. Is Tribe eliminated? No, Tribe is waiting in the lower bracket. They do. Imagine the smell on Patolino face right after beating Picastro time. Yeah, you know, because like they were in one team, like they won together, okay? That's World Championship, right? So, this time has such an OP attack yesterday. I really enjoy it. Uh, but I know, I understand, uh, this war is definitely like, it's so, so important because right now these teams are playing for seeding of the monthly final. How I say, if they can win, they will be skipping the first round of that playoff and they will go immediately to the semi-final, which is huge. Einstein coming in here as well with the Root Riders, already pulling the CC troops here, and we are using the one overgrowth spell. We're opening a bunch of walls here for Queen, so that way the Queen can go around and still reach a lot of good defenses. Uh, we are using, of course, the Siege Barracks, so a big group of the Wizard right behind the Pekas, clearing the bottom side of the base. 
He brought the super hoggies inside the clan castle, so they're going through the base. Now the town hall is visible. Also the poison spell that we got activated from so kind of build. We will be losing a lot of root riders, but luckily there was still a group of the root riders which kind of dodge all the damage there. I see already moving so so fast. But Pussy may be uh, seeing things because she has done use the ability. She's using ability right now. And it is it is good attack. A really good hit by Einstein. Uh, Tornado Trap a little bit slowing down the king. So this attack will be probably like 1 minute 20, something 1 minute 20 seconds under, right? I have that OP screen to tell me. Um, yeah, 79 seconds. That is still a really good time here. Uh, I apologize, I have no clue why it's showing ETX uh, Sport uh, logo and I cannot change it, so apologize for that. Um, but we have 1 minute 11 seconds average uh, duration time here for Synchronic, so that's amazing. But MNG is right behind, like how I say, even the natural hit was 73 seconds, which was awesome. So this one is still anyone game. I believe so VM Legacy is playing the next round. I could be wrong. Right, VM Legacy is playing next. Hold on. Yeah, VM Legacy is playing... Whoa, they have a lot of buys before they're gonna play. They are playing like in three hours or something. Alright, we have Morio with the triple. I show you the bracket. Uh, and you will understand that. Uh... Anything else got updated? Entropy with the second three star. Toby with the triple four head star there. All right, let me show you. See, these matches on the left side, they're happening. These are the teams which are waiting. Look at where is VM Legacy. They are waiting one, two, three, four. They are playing in the round four. Same for, story for the tank. And actually the team which lose here today, it will go here, so it could be synchronic on MMG, it really depends, okay? And same here. XT Merly Bird and NGT Legends, they are waiting. They will be waiting three hours until they will be playing. So there's still plenty of uh, matches and I'm thinking to stream Tribe, the next one. We'll see who they will be facing. Because if I remember, this is the team which doesn't like to use the Root Riders, that will be interesting. Yeah, for the... St I got it. I know I got it. Understand me. I didn't really know that... I would be like uh, already shouting that out yesterday. That these top four teams are already in the monthly finals. I didn't notice at all. Alright, Kingsman. So we have Root Riders coming in with the Valks, using the Frozen Arrow with the Healer Puppet on the Queen, using the small uh, mini Golem there, as they already broke, with the King. Uh, he should be able to take down the enemy Queen and the Scattershot. Tornado Trap being trigger. Of course, the, we open a bunch of walls, so we are reaching the defense is very quickly here. Now the Warden ability protecting every troop front of the Town Hall. But also, same time, we are start pulling the CC troops. Looks like the Vault actually dealing with the Ice Golems, and the Root Riders are kind of moving away. Queen is already fighting against the enemy Royal Champion, fighting as well and clearing the scatter shot. Now we are in the range of two multi infernos here. Jesus, that's not good. Like his root riders disappear. Like I don't think so. This is fail, but it could be possibility to kind of this attack could slow down. Let's find out. RC and the Hoggy split, so the both are targeting these infernos. One minute forty five seconds. RC now has to go back for that inferno which the uh, Hoggy didn't get. Queen is on the wall, so not really helping him here. This is not a faster one like the Synchronic, that all the Root Riders die inside the core of the base. Work for him. He is dead. Yes. This is good for Synchronic. King's one is not that fast. Synchronic gonna have now bigger lead with the time. This hit will be under two minutes, because actually the... Uh, 
uh, fox and the barbs are clearing the boulder hut. Whoa, okay. That's huge, that's huge. I know that it's still three star, but this is huge because losing these rude riders cost him time. And you can see the difference is now bigger than it was before. They used to uh, root riders against us yesterday to root riders spam to Lalo and E Dragons. Oh, the team? I see. Maybe they had to change, you know, and go for the time. But yeah, you can see that Kingsman one, uh, 110 seconds. So that is jump. And now they are on 1 minute 31 second average time there. So if you jump there. Okay, let's check. These are the matches from the lower bracket. All single elimination. Um, Max hitting the triple for e uh, VA Esport. Eltano with the three star and also VA Esport with the second holder. So they're looking good. Agnistar, Vado with the triple. Uh, Imperium Titans as well with the three star. Uh, Toby hitting the triple for uh, head start. 20 star with the triple as well. Pentaflare with the triple, so a lot of triple. Let's check how Navi and Anarchy is doing. Yeah, looks like the Method of Madness has two teams. Uh, Tuadi, hello! Welcome, welcome! Okay, Navi looks like catch up with the time and actually took the lead back. Leo probably wasn't that fast and Klaus had to be really quick with the three star there because if you remember from the first attack Anarchia was faster so table have turned in that match we have Philip we are going to the round of the third attacks both teams right now with the two triples is Tribe out? no Tribe is waiting in the lower bracket Tribe will be uh, playing after this All right, so we are deploying almost everything here. Again, we are bringing the jump for the king. We will be using only the healer puppet on the queen. No frozen arrow. And look like the queen is actually pushing here with the root riders. Not really going around. Did we forgot the Valks? Because they're kind of being deployed a little bit later. RC will be chasing some of the skellies. Siege Barak being deployed at 9 o'clock. The Queen can reach the Town Hall. I hope so the Rude Riders will be moving away. It feels like he forgot the Valks. It's happened. It's not over yet. He brought the Super Minions inside of his Siege Machine. Actually, I like that Queen when with the Rude Riders. That's smart because she is really grabbing some of the good buildings and helping a lot. But this is the same case, he doesn't have root riders anymore, so this is gonna be slowing down a little bit. But what is cool, he doesn't have to break any wall here. Like the queen is reaching everything, so Philip still hitting a uh, decent fast attack. I think so that it was like 1 minute 21 second, if I stop it correctly. Yeah, 82, sec uh, 82 seconds hit, so... That is still, that's still good for Synchrony. It's keeping them with the 1 minute 15 seconds average time. What did the DWB did uh, yesterday? I don't know. They had first of what they didn't play and second what they won and third what they lost. So nothing bad. Like they kind of got themselves into the lower bracket because they didn't play the first war. I don't know if they had technical issues or what's happened there. But sadly, they didn't play the first one, which was very important for them. All right, Imperium Titans, co uh, come on, Kun, right? Uh, with the triple there, uh, COC Ward, Funky with the three star against Agnes star. Yeah, VN Esporting got this. Like, there, there is third defense. I don't know what uh, base this VN Esporting has, but looks like Method of Madness is struggling. Reconing has first failed. Nairon with the 87% two star. That could be critical for the Reconing. Entropy wins with the triple. Indian Riders had that one fail, two triples. Crusader hitting the three star as well. I'm a little bit worried now about Reconing there. 
That one is single elimination match, guys. Please stop, stop talking about time. You are making this boring. Uh, but this match is about time. Uh, sorry, Dark. So I have to talk about time. This match will be decided by the time. Oof, reckoning. I know. 87. All right, can we switch to uh, Navivor? Let's see what they are doing. All right, we have Tryhard going in. Pressure on a me uh, well, about to say method of madness. <laughs> on a MMG because they are behind the time. They have to speed up their attacks. So it's more pressure on them. There is possibility of some of the mistakes as well. So Root Rider is being deployed from the nine o'clock corner. He's using the heal at puppet. All right. All right, we are bringing the jump for the king. So that way the king can go for the multi inferno. I don't think so we will have the giant gauntlet still. So the town hall not gonna get hit, but he should have Root Rider start fighting that way. Queen looking is already using the heal at puppet. I see going for the scatter shot. Now we have actually some of the valves going for the town hall, and root rafters are kind of dodging the town hall here. So he's using the free spell. I see sneaking in, taking down the town hall. I kind of like that root rider is going around because they didn't get hit, and they also didn't take uh, much damage from the poison. The turning the shot a little bit slowed them down. But the hoggies are already gone. Like that hog puppet almost didn't give him anything. Uh, I see now with the haze going through the base, and it will be quick uh, attack here. Uh, I think so. It's gonna help a little bit MMG because that was like one minute forty three seconds left. So let's check what is that average time here. One minute twenty six seconds. So it went down. So definitely good job by um, try harder. For sure, helping there. Yeah, 77 seconds, 3 stars, so GG there. Alright, let's check how Navi and Anarchy are doing. So we have Gaku and Bernal, uh, both hitting the 3 star. I don't really think that Navi even changed the timing of the average time. It's still on 1 minute 25 seconds. Anarchy looks like... Now 1 minute 31 seconds. Wasn't it like 1 minute 30 seconds in the, from the previous hit? So it looks like they got a little bit slower. Do you guys think the new update will make attacking weaker? No, it's still. Offense will be still strong. You will be still able to hit a 3 star for sure. Chihava with the triple, let's go. Let's go, Chihava. And this is what I am worried about. Like, there was still a triple against Reckoning. You know, even that is only 87%. Like, if you fail, it really feels like you have to be something like 97, 96. I don't know. I am worried that uh, Reckoning will be out. Leo from VA hitting the triple, so very close war, but VA timings are crazy. 1 minute 10 seconds average attack duration for them. That's insane. Uh, Indian riders actually right now they have percentage lead against the method of madness. Uh, then then hitting the triple for Pentaflare OP. Pepito hitting the triple for 20 stars. No, Anarchia is back to the Anarchia. We have General X going in. So again, bringing the jump. Right now he's Flame Flicker uh, select on the bar. Uh, 
He deployed from 6 o'clock, okay? And looks like he's starting with the Rude Riders from 12. Some of the Teslas. I will try to also keep eyes on the Flame Flinger. Uh, looks like one of the Teslas showing up at the 6 o'clock. Alright, so we are using the King. We will be dropping the jump for him. And we are using the Healer Puppet on the Queen. Rude Rider is already clearing one of these Infernos. He start pulling the CT troops, so going against two to three Ice Golem. Queen will pop the ability here. Sadly, some of the healers are still in the range. Rude Rider needs to clear the Inferno. Nice. Alright, so now the healers are safe. Very nice priest over the Monolith and the Town Hall. But I don't know why I think that this is not moving that quickly. Again, freezing and raging. Now the Rude Riders are on the Town Hall. Same story for the Royal Champion. He will be losing the Rude Riders, like big group of them. He has right now one Rude Rider left. King with the jump, reaching the Eagle and the Inferno. Queen is also clearing. 1 minute 40 seconds. This is slow. This is slow, guys. RC is down. That's not good. Guys, this could change the Red Bull here. Oh my god, this is fail. Oh my goodness, this is defense! This is not even time! He lost the king, he lost the RC, he lost the queen! And he has only the CC troops left! This is actually hold! This is huge for MMG, because now everything is completely changed. MMG don't have to push for the time. All they have to do is just go with the save three stars. Nothing else. All they need is safe triples, and they got it. It started like he lost already a lot of root riders at the 12 o'clock. It's really slowed down. Ninety percent two star. That's huge. MMG with the hold here. Everything is changed right now. MMG has two attacks. We have Mammoth and Temper with the attack left. All they have to do, just hit the two star. Oh, sorry, just hit the safe triple and they got it. They are then, uh, playing in the semi final next weekend for the golden ticket. All right, let's go back for this uh, screen here. COC Ward third hitting the triple there. Uh, that was first triple against BNE Sporting. Anything else? Headstar with the fourth triple. Mazdi are hitting the triple for Imperium Titans. Alright, let's check Navi versus uh, Anarchia, please. Do they have time to change plans? Probably not, but you know, they can be a little bit more patient with stuff which they are dropping. I can't believe there will be such a thing as safe triple. <laughs> if Maxi say that, I stole it from him. He say, okay, now they just need a safe triple, you know? And I, I really like it, so I started using it. This was a if Maxi uh, sentence. When he was in the chat, he said, okay, they need just safe triple. <laughs> I was like, fine. Okay, Anarchia with the fourth triple there. They are not changing the timing. Looks like they are still hitting very similar uh, triples in the time there. Uh, we are live with the fourth hit from MMG. It's not over yet for Synchronic, but they need to get a hold. Is that possible? They need to get defense. Anything less than 90% to star. Temper is live and coming live here with the Zap Lalo. Let's go. Right, zap is up. Clearing the multi inferno. Also got the red spell tower. Now dropping the jump for the king.
Alright, Vantual Drones being deployed for that Wizard Tower, which we didn't get. Now, Queen should be going back for the Eagle. He's also deploying another Super Wallbreaker. So, Queen is not done yet. And this is what I was talking about. It's not anymore about the time. So, he can kind of actually spend some seconds for the heroes to get the value. In the previous, uh, you know, meta, it would be just like all trying to deploy everything same time here. Alright, Warden Ability protecting the Blim. Blim about to land. Let's see what we can get. Tornado Trap actually being triggered. Uh, yet is doing damage. Can the Town Hall being clear? Ah, uh, doesn't look like the Town Hall being cleared by the Yetis, but now Loons are arriving. But that means all Loons are dying over the Town Hall. We are deploying the Royal Champion. We have small group of the Loons. But guys, there is, this one is... Uh, Scattershot is still up, Warden fighting again, wow that Warden is OP, the Warden actually sniping the Scatter, so that's huge, but the Multi Inferno is doing damage to his loose, so now we need the Royal Champion to save this attack, right now Hoggy is tanking for the RC, there's few skellies, luckily Enemy King is one hit, Hoggy is going for the Multi Inferno, Enemy King is down, Royal Champion clearing the Multi, going for the Cannon, and Temper still gonna be able to hit the Triple, most little a bit <laughs> scary for the second but honestly as he still handled it and also was kind of cool that warden was able to snipe the scatter shot before the warden dies so mmg with the three star here and still keeping the lead here against synchronic maxi is savage commentator he even criticized attacker who did zap uh, before dropping the troops i like maxi I also like kind of like uh i learned like so many things from him because he also sees some small things you know <laughs> all right vn is sporting aiming for the perfect war there was fail on the reckoning base but this is what i was saying like look at this 97 percent two star that's what i'm worried that nairom fail was low percentage i know 87 you will say oh yeah that's a good percentage but it's not on this is not like you really need something around the 97. Mm. 20 star actually with the first fail so head start looking good now uh Agnes star still having the lead in the time imperium titans also leading with the time entropy and va esport some of the attacks should be showing up <gasps> wow pentaflare with the huge defense there was one star 87 per 10 one star and as you can see va esports just got the hold there was a fail on their base we have mark final attacker for synchronic yeah if you can change it back to the navi screen so we can check after this attack but all eyes on mark hit so mark coming in here with the rude riders and as you can see opening the wall for the king and the queen so also actually bringing the jump for them so they should be able to clear the uh, multi inferno i don't know which way the queen will go the king will take the jump so he will be patting towards the monolith queen nicely following now and the super minions from the siege barrack will be joining we also start pulling the cc troops so looks like the king will be stuck sadly on these ice golems Queen took the jump, she's fighting against the loon and clearing the monolith. Ice is still pushing with the Rude Rider, so they're kind of going around the town hall. It's using the freeze over the Ragefell Tower and also the scatter shot. Fanning is helping the Queen with the Eagle. Now the Queen should be able to manage to clear the town hall, so that's looking good. Ice on the scatter. Go, go, go. Alright, Rude Riders near to the multi inferno. Tornado traps slowing down some of them. Queen taking some damage from the poison, so we will be losing the Queen. But as he still has ability, and Mark will be hitting the three star for Synchronic. So their final score will be 14 stars. And now they need a hold. They need a defense. Is that possible? They need anything less than 90%. Mammoth has attack left. It's very simple for MMG. Anything above 90% to start, they will take the victory and they will be advancing to the semi final of the monthly finals and playing for that golden ticket. 
Anarchia hit the perfect wall here. So that uh, final time for them is 1 minute 30 seconds. Navi still much, much faster with the attacks. Uh, they have stars with the attack left, so we'll see how stars will do. But looks like if stars can be like this and fast triple, Navi should get it. Yeah, try gaming is in the lower bracket. They are waiting. Try gaming will be playing the next round, guys. Correct. Susie, do you think the Rude Riders will get nerfed with the add level of the monolith? No, they are still very strong. Hi, Ayan. Hello. Kazuma was 69 seconds. Oh, really? Oh, did you claim uh, the points on that website, Ramana? I know that when I did it and after I just like uh, uh, opened the game, it's automatically show that you claim the stuff. Yeah, I know, Wayne, I know. Hi, Sean, hello. MNG play well in the big tournaments. Uh, yeah, Sporak, but it's still strong. It's not enough. Alright, we have Mammoth going in. Final attack. Final attack, guys, for MMG. <laughs> Anything above 90% two star, it will be victory. So all pressure on him. And he actually will be queen charging. He brought five healers. He's using the frozen arrow on the queen. King already using the ability and pulling the CC troops. So dropping the poison on the ice golem. Penny is also chasing one of the ice golems here. Have I said they don't have to be worried about time? Alright, he doesn't have any using the headhunter against the enemy king. So with the frozen arrow, the king was so so slowed down that he could handle it really well. Alright, Queen is on the multi inferno, so the healer is gonna be protected and Unicorn is still alive. Huge group of the Rude Riders going inside the core of the base. Warden ability protecting as well the Royal Champion using the freeze over the town hall. I see on the multi inferno. Looks like we have few Rude Riders coming from 12 o'clock side. Even the battle drill actually pushing with the Rude Riders. This is looking good. Mammoth using the ability on the ice, the haste and the hoggies. Crushing the base in with Perfecto, protecting the Hoggies and the Royal Champion. This is 3 star all day. Look at the army he has left. He still has Battle Drill. If I think correctly, I think that Battle Drill is still full HP. Totally overpowered attack here. And MMG, congratulations to you guys. They will be playing in the monthly finals and this one was so so important because they will be skipping round one. They will be right into the semi-final for the golden ticket. That's huge. Like, geez, that one is really huge. I'm gonna show you what does that mean. I don't know which one will be like C1 and C2. I guess in that one will be decide on that, but they are going here. I don't know if it's gonna be C1 or C2, but they are going here because next weekend is the monthly finals and they will be skipping the first round. So that's really big uh, for the teams. So they will be skipping one round and getting closer to the golden ticket. Now we want to know who will be joining them. So let's see uh, who won. I, first of all, I want to see Navi versus uh, Anarchia, if you can show me, and after we'll go for the lower bracket.
Star Stripper with the OP Fireball Lalo. New meta. They have still 1 minute 21 seconds average time. That's insane. So congratulations to Navi. So Navi and MMG are done. They have no more matches. All that hard work work for them and they are advancing to the monthly finals and they will be starting from the semi-final guys, okay? Anarchy and Synchrony, they will be still playing later today. They will be playing for the seeding in this bracket which I show you. Uh, let's go back for this. So Navi and uh, MMG, they will be starting from here. Synchronic and Anarchia will be playing later today to see uh, which seeding they are taking, okay? But Synchronic and Anarchia will be in the monthly finals. Uh, they are not going anywhere. Now let's check uh, how are the teams doing in the lower bracket. Let's check everything. how it will be decided the seed i don't know i don't know who will decide the seed one and seed two all right so we have imperium titans winning on the time because there was double perfect war agni star is out oh my goodness they hit one star 94 percent one star doc war congratulations to them bn is sporting with the perfect war Rectonic survive? Oh no way! They actually got a second hold. Sometimes I need luck. They are actually surviving in that lower bracket. Congratulations, to guys! Uh, VA Esports with the perfect war. Entropy actually failed two attacks. I think so. They were rushing. They were trying to do fast hits. 96, 97. That feels like. They knew they were so, so much behind on the time. So they were probably like really trying some quick, quick triples and didn't work. Uh, Indian Riders winning on the percentage. Oh my, I have to close the window, it's raining. Uh, winning on the percentage. Uh, Pentaflair winning. Looks like that opposite team after hitting the one star didn't even bother to hit or use the uh, final attack there because it wouldn't change the result. And head star, congratulations to them. They are winning oh, they are winning on the stars. They hit the perfect war. GG. GG there. So we will be covering. I think that's what Susie wants to stream. Try gaming versus Imperium Titans. That will be ET Esports versus Head Star, Surgical Esports versus uh, Pentaflare, Robin Hood Clan versus COC World. Oh, wrong one. EA versus VN Esporting. <laughs> what I want to stream? <laughs> Pavro Riders versus Rayconing, Golden X versus VA. And Renegados versus Indian Riders. EA versus VN Esporting or Tribe. Yeah, same time. All these words are same time. You guys gonna have two minutes to vote. Because I need to join a clan. You guys decide what you want to watch. All right, uh, try versus ET or EA versus VN. Two minutes. Vote, vote, vote. Decide, guys, what you want to watch. Both YouTube and uh, Twitch, you guys have a uh, poll up.
Ao perfect nuggets, perfect. Yeah, Synchrony will be playing for the seeding. I sadly not gonna be able to cover the last two rounds, uh, but I will be hosting another streamer, so don't worry. I'm covering only three rounds today. Right now, 69% voting for Tribe and Imperium. Uh, Twitch is 50-50. No, they don't. What do you mean? They do. No, they will be playing one more time. Or I'm getting confused. They will be playing for the seeding for sure. Alright, 71% voting for Tribe on how much time we have? Few more seconds. Vote, 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 guys. What do you want to watch? Yes, Akbari, there are. Yeah, YouTube going 72% Tribe and Imperium, uh, Twitch going 52% with the Tribe and ET. So we're gonna be streaming that one. Uh, and I hope so EA gonna make the round 3 so I can stream them. <laughs> that will be fun, okay? Seedings are uh, based on leather. I don't know how they're doing uh, seeding. I, I really don't know. I know that like from the upper bracket, the two teams are skipping the round one. But I really don't know. I hate when this happened. Let me fix this. But I don't know how they are doing rest. This one is kind of confusing for me. Oh, seeding for the monthly finals will be determined based on the each team's placement in the monthly qualifier. The four teams advancing from the monthly qualifier from lower bracket will start in the monthly final uh, upper bracket round one. The two teams advancing from the upper bracket will receive bye in the round one and play the first match. Yeah, I understand that, but how do you know which one, like, is this one, right? How do I know? If this one is MMG or Navi, like who will be seed one and who will be seed two? That's uh, that's what I am like confused. Is that about the, how they were brackets? So the Navi was uh, against Anarchy in the top, and after was uh, Synchrony were an MMG. So Navi and MMG like this. Navi will be seed one, and MMG will be seed two. Do I understand that correct? Yeah, they have they were in the bracket so you know this is what i'm uh, talking about so they're in the bracket as here as the top so i thought that this, this one it will be like seed one and this one will be like seed two oh they will be fighting is this happening no right This is not happening, right? No. Average stats, okay. Alright, I see, I see. 
All right, uh, Peron sent me an uh, updated bracket, which is easier to see. So let me uh, show you guys, this is much, much easier. So huge shout out to him. So right now, these are the rounds which are happening. EA versus VNE Sporting. Pathroot Riders versus Reckoning, Golden X versus VA Esport, and Renegados versus Indian Riders. Try Gaming versus Imperium Titans, that's what we are covering, okay? Uh, ET Esport versus Headstar, Surgical Esport versus this is Pentaflare, and Robin Hood Clan versus COC World. All these matches are single elimination. There is no more matches from upper bracket. Upper bracket is done. So these teams, if they lose, they're out. Two spots left, by the way. Two spots left. So this is a uh, serious business now. So you will be losing some big teams. No, but this one is huge help with the bracket. Thank you. Our Navi is done today, guys. Navi did everything. They are done. Navi and MMG are done. They are already in the top six. So I was telling you that I was 128 teams which started yesterday and they were fighting in the double elimination bracket. Navi and MMG won all their wars. So they will be playing the next weekend in the monthly finals for the golden ticket. There is four spots left. So right now from all these teams from the lower bracket, four of them will be advancing to the monthly finals, okay? All right, let's start the predictions. Let's start the predictions. So you guys decide to watch this match. So who will win? Yeah, I'm starting, sorry. Drive Gaming. Versus Imperium. I don't. All right, we have tribe. Here you go, predictions are up. You guys can vote. Hi, Mariana. Hello, welcome in. No, uh, how do you say seating for the monthly finals will be determined based on the each team's placement in the monthly qualifier? The four teams advancing from the monthly qualifier lower bracket will start in the monthly final upper bracket round one. That's I get it. Pilot, hello, hello, welcome in. Thank you very much for joining. All right, good news is we have now all wars on the screen. So no more switching the uh, screens. There is eight wars happening and we will be able to uh, keep eyes on all four of them. Uh, ET Esport hasn't spin yet. Can you do it from the opposite side? Hi, Bascon, hello. Now some really, really good one. I know that Stal is covering EA versus VN. I don't know who we'll be cheering for. This one is tough. Uh, Bathroom Riders versus Reckoning. Yeah, so many good wars. Yeah, Nagi Shofi. This time there will be six teams, yes. Uh, hey Susie, I just wanted to know if TWB advancing to the next stage or not. 
Uh, no. Uh, T TWB is out. And yeah, it's got el uh, they got eliminated yesterday. And as them and many teams which got out, they still can try a few more times because that will be next uh, multi qualifier starting uh, next month. So they can try again. Hi, Chef. Welcome. Bum, bum. Yes, I checked the eight screen. Uh, it is for I don't know if they haven't spin. You could try to add the opposite team. They are facing Head Star. You could st add a Head Star on the screen. Or may maybe they haven't spin yet. Not sure. But the rest is perfect. Everyone is in the battle day. How I am doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm excited, like we have first golden ticket. Like next weekend we actually will know the first team who will be holding that golden ticket and that's exciting time. Like for someone who likes the eSport and you know. So I am really good. A Navi lo oh, Na Navi lost, Navi won. <laughs> <laughs> now we won, yeah, they are, uh, they will be playing next weekend, they are done, Navi and MNG are done, yeah, I can pin this uh, message, here we go, Antonio is opening there. How Chinese team will enter the championship matches? I think so they will be doing that same, like, previews here there will be one chinese golden ticket tournament and that's how they're gonna earn the golden ticket i really don't understand how they're gonna do world championship with the 16s i keep thinking how they're gonna split them are they gonna be something like the monthly finals the two teams will be skipping the first round i really don't know i don't know if they share the information with the with the teams Or is still like secret? Yeah, I really have no clue. <laughs> exactly, Regal. Welcome in. I told that you are enjoying your vacation. <clears throat> when, when, when one day I'm gonna be that big YouTuber, you know, I can. Hi, Leo. Hello. Yeah, I really would like to know how they are gonna do that for the World Championship with the six teams. Because eight teams totally makes sense, right? Everyone is starting in, in the upper bracket. But with the six teams, how are you gonna do it? Both clans, not uh, spin? Okay. Okay, okay. In our match, on the other side, we are 20 seconds, 20 seconds away from the first attack. Robin Hood round? <laughs> I don't know. But they haven't shared it, right? I didn't miss anything. No vacation. Uh, yesterday was returning. Eldest uh, child to uni. Also did zip line. Yeah, that's what I told when I saw that picture. That was. I don't know if I would be able to do that. But it was looking cool. Welcome, welcome, everyone, guys. So we are back with the monthly qualifier. We have another round of the day two. And this time we are covering the match which is in the lower bracket, which means this one is single elimination we have imperium titans 
versus Tribe Gaming. Thank you very much, guys, to everyone who was voting. And now let's enjoy some three stars. So we have Root Rider attack against Yoyo Base. Uh, Root Rider is actually split here. He's freezing around the town hall. So they split kind of into the two groups. I don't know if he got like full uh, value of the raid spell there. This is not looking good. I think that Root Riders didn't go like straight into the middle compartment here. It's not the best because right now he is slow, I agree. But it's not just about the time. I am curious if there's enough troops to finish this. Let's see. So we are on the town hall. King now with the giant gauntlet. Taking out the town hall. But I think so we are losing the warden. Queen still has the ability. He will have the healer puppet. Right now King breaking the wall. So he's taking down the inferno. We still have royal champion alive. And two free spells. I see using the haste and the hawks. Oh, he's okay. All right, it's still three star. It's not gonna be fast. Yeah, that split definitely didn't work for him there. No, this is slow. This is slow. But maybe this match will be noticed by the time. So still, three pull is what is important here. So good job by Imperium Titans. Uh, but it will be a uh, three pull, probably almost like getting close to the two minutes. Luckily, the minions is about to be done with the storage. So we only need Queen finish all the storage while this triple will be over two minutes. So let's take the youngest uh, to the monkey ward. Monkey ward? Oh, this could be cute. And you guys get that back like an hour ago? Nice. Regal, have you been like scared when you were uh, the, uh, did that zipline? I don't know, it was feeling like you were like seriously high there. I couldn't probably look it down and hoping that I'm not gonna fall down. Is that TWB match? No, it's not. Hi Mehmet, hello, how are you? All right, looks like the VM uh, sorry, ET is for and head start a heaven spin yet. Not sure what is happening with that match. We have Achilles with the three star, uh, Damien hitting the triple for reckoning, VA is for with the three star, Indian riders as well with the triple. No, oh, sorry, what I'm saying, there was 93 percent two star, COC world with the triple, and Imperium Titans with the triple. Hi, Perkesi, hello. A zip line was awesome. There was like 220 meter drop from above 450 meter high hour. No, I, that's no way I could do that. I really would be scared that I'm gonna fall down. I know that uh, now I'm, ch I'm chicken in this kind of stuff. Alright, Kronos with the first hit for Tribe. Interesting to see Kronos actually attacking us first for Try Gaming. But probably he likes this bait. Alright, so he's using one of the Skelly spells. Sadly, it was distracting only for the second some of the defenses, but you can see that Monolith is already in the action. Same story for the two ground x -bows. Using the jump spell for the king, so the queen, uh, king will be reaching the multi inferno. Queen already fight against the enemy RC, and we are pulling the CC troops. We have first super dragon, actually, I'm seeing. I don't think so we saw any super dragon CC yesterday, if I remember correctly. So RC will be chasing the super dragon. The Rude Rider is still on the duty to start clearing some of the defenses. We are using the freeze over the multi and the. Uh, Archer Tower, Town Hall going back visible for the groups, this is looking very clean, I have to say. But he still has uh, plenty of troops. Queen Sadi now stuck on the wall, but she's breaking that wall pretty quickly. And everything will be ending on the Town Hall exactly like he wanted. So, very nicely done by Kronos. Try gaming with the three star. Oh, 
because I did it check in, but not showing. Uh, what? Who didn't? Who has an issue? Okay. Um, all right. So we have Bavru Riders with the triple. It was faster. Restarted attack from Reckoning. Uh, VA pulling some really fast restart again for Golden X. Now they just have to hit, keep hitting the three star, but they also have to be very fast. Anything else? The Robin Hood clan with the triple there from Kevin. And I guess we are waiting for Renegados and Penta Flare for their first attack. ETX is out. Can you just remove this one so it's not getting confused that ET is for versus VM Legacy? Just remove it. Indian Riders with the 93% 2 star. What, ha what happens with the VM Legacy? VM Legacy starting the next. No, VM Legacy starting in the round 4. So VM Legacy still have plenty of time. They haven't. Like, this is what I'm talking about. See, right now this round is happening and VM Legacy is here, so there's still one more round before the VM Legacy will be even playing. So they should be playing around four and right now you guys are watching round two. I'm curious who will win here because this is the war which I would like to stream. These are the teens. We'll see. Susie making plans, you know. Thank you. Thank you, Nagesh. Uh, no, don't. They haven't. Yet. Doesn't I mean they still have chance. They will have match today. But they are starting later. They are starting from round 4. Alright, Rakibul is in. So second attacker for Imperium Titans. As well going here with the Root Riders. Again, we have Root Riders kind of splitting up. So we have small group going towards the enemy Royal Champion. We send the Headhunter, so trying to get... Oh, RC actually surviving. That's not good for him. Because the Royal Champion will be killing his Root Riders. So he's deploying another Headhunter to try to get rid of her. Poison Lizard going against the CC troops. Guys, I have feeling the Imperium Titans are struggling on the try gaming basis. Like, I know they are hitting the 3-star, but look at this. This is messy, like, this could be even 1-star. I'm trying to not panicking here. King went out, that didn't work. Someone staying up is freaking me out, because Royal Champion is already low HP. We need Super, OP, Insane, Smart RC, Hawk, Pup or Hawk Doll, and the hate on the Royal Champion. RC is on the town hall, there is Ice Ball and we are hitting the 1 star. 1 star again, try gaming, no way. The try gaming base is... Uh... Yeah, this is Ripperoni Macaroni for sure. Oh, Apog is here. There was bad funnel for the king. This is how Susie is hitting. Yep. I agree, like the king going outside is huge issue. That mess up definitely at this attack. Good try, 88% 1 star. And the 1 stars are happening, we're still seeing many of them, even though during the monthly qualifier. But this is huge now, because try gaming the team which has no issue to pull the 15 stars, and also no issue to hit the uh, fast triple. 
I'm not saying that it's over for Imperium Titans, but it will be very hard for them to come back from that one star. We have Avian is putting with the first triple, Demo hitting the three star, and Naya Rome hitting the triple for a Reckoning, Max hitting the three star for VA. Renegados with the triple, uh, Surgical is for Sami with the three star as well. The rest of the world they can go like autopilot. It's just it's like a no pressure on tribe right now. Because notice that they, they can even hit the two star, yeah. Uh, Gorka? Uh, Gorka lost, Gorka is out. Only these things which you see, Gorka lost, right? Only these things which you are seeing are left. Plus NGT Legends, X Team Early Bird, the Tank VM Legacy, Anarchy, and Synchronic. And this one is single elimination, yes. You should that he use uh he should use the overgrowth spell. Tribe never ended war with the 13 stars so far. I don't think so. Imperium can win this. It will be difficult. I don't think it's impossible, but I don't know. If it was like two star, I would say okay. But yes, they can be some, some crazy defenses, you know? So... I'm always like uh, saying never give up. You never know what the opposite team will do. So... Seriously, like Imperium Titans, just... They need to still try to keep pushing, hitting the 3 star and see. And see what's happened. Alright, Royal Champion already with the Hoggies and the Haze. Right now she will be chasing the CC. We will be blimping the Town Hall because as you can see, Rigiret coming in here with the level. His Queen can be able to reach the multi Inferno. King is already there. Town Hall won went down very quickly here. And now he's uh, deploying the rest of the loons, including the Lava from 12 o'clock. Connect the trap being triggered there and also a few of the Death Plots protecting the Eagle. Rigiret hitting very fast three star here. Yeah, like he still has so many loons left. Cleanup is everywhere. Minions already on the cleanup duty. Enemy King actually not gonna really bother him that much because it's nowhere near to the buildings. And try gaming with the second triple. Anything is possible in Clash, including the clone E Dragons out of nowhere? I know. I know. It's true. Thank you, Darbox. Thank you guys that you are answering some question in the chat and helping each other. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Hero ya with the triple for EA. Actually, the time between EA and VN is still very, very close. Uh, Bathroot Raiders uh, with the triple, right now Reconic is leading with the time. Uh, Golden X, as Zeus hitting the three star, but how I say the VA triples are so, so fast. Renegados with the second triple, and Indian Raiders has only 62% two star. Renegados, two triples in and two defenses, that's huge. Surgical East Power with the second triple as well. When Susie will be pro player? Uh, in 2034. You have perfect Legend League Day. Congratulations! Ah uh, yes, Carlos, I still think they're gonna be strong. No, I think so the 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 new levels, I don't know. It didn't really feel like it affects like the new levels of the defenses. I still think the Rude Riders will be dominating and uh, they will be still uh, used in the attacks. Mm. 
travelers to you guys oh i remember yes i remember once that was happening from a tribe yes 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 i remember that i did have you send me that didn't you that's why i know about it all right come on Kun is in coming in here with the rude riders against nebrax Warden ability protecting all the group of the troops fighting close to the town hall. Right now we start pulling the CC troops, so we're going against Ice Golem, Pros and Arrow. Okay. Tornado trap, I think so, got trigger. Now there is enemy IC right behind the town hall. He's using actually good value of the free spell there. His royal champion is fighting against the enemy IC. Sadly, the monolith still can reach some of his root riders. But bigger group of the Rude Riders kind of pushing with the Queen and the Warden. Now the King joining, so the Town Hall not gonna be issue. But he has to invest few free spell there, especially freeze over the Monolith. Now the most of the Rude Rider is going outside of the base because we have few defenses there. Artsy now reaching the Mono, she didn't clear it. But the King with the Giant Gauntlet splash damage, taking down the Monolith. And Command Pool still looking very, very good here. Still have huge group of the Rude Riders. Queen will be catching up right now. She's like, uh, you know, clearing all these uh, buildings around. And this one will be three star. How I say, they don't have to rush. It's not about time anymore. Uh, they just have to try to keep hitting the triples and hoping, you know, they can get some defenses. But good job by Kumankun. You watch that uh, war alive? Oh, who did stream that one? In this qualifier, almost all the top clans did at least uh, 14 stars. Yeah, you could save it in the world's warm up. Like the 14, 15 was uh, seriously you needed. Like you even lost the war if you hit the 15 stars. This is the EA and V and Sporting. That match is so, so close. Look at the average time. EA 1 minute 32 seconds, VN Esporting 1 minute 3, 33 seconds, so so close war. Um, Morio hitting the triple for a Reckoning there, Reckoning still faster with the attacks. Um, Hades hitting the triple for VA, he wasn't that fast but it's still keeping VA in the lead. There was first fail from Pentaflare, so Surgical Esport taking the lead here. What about Navi? Navi already qualified, yes. In 2034, I will be COC community manager. All right, deal. VM Legacy is waiting for the round four. That's when they will be playing. They have few buys before they're gonna play. Yeah. Watching Suzy. Clash of Clans live in the Finland. Oh, that's your. Uh, oh, you want to watch the World Championship? I see. Yeah, that it experience is amazing experience. I was very lucky. To see for official caster uh, this clash words? No. With my English, that's never happened. All right, Queen already reaching the enemy king. Headhunter taking out the enemy king. We are pulling actually a super dragon here. Do we, let's see uh, what pet we have. Poison lizard. All right, poison lizard already on the dragon. Royal champion is there as well. Using actually the rage front of the town hall, the root riders are almost all gone. 
Valves are now kind of outside of that uh, core of the base, so they're clearing the exit bow and all the defenses is using the jump, so that way the jump uh, gonna open another compartment for the king. We took care of the enemy uh, queen here, but the multi inferno is still there. My bad. Actually, the fans with the king was able to finish it, but hello, this is hold. We have two stars. Imperium Titans need definitely one more defense, but this is now very, very interesting here. Like, again, so many Rude Riders die inside the core of the base. And after, there was like nothing left. It is good uh, percentage. I think so, it will be higher, right? The percentage that was the attack from Imperium Titans. We are hitting 85 percentage. What was the fail? 88. So actually, Imperium Titans has percentage and Tri Gaming has stars lead. That's how interesting this is. Whoa, the way. This is what I'm talking about. Never give up, you know? I'm not saying that Imperium Titans still can win, you know, they still need one more defense, but doesn't mean that cannot happen. All right, we have Robin Hood clan with the tri triple Yata with the three star as well. Jesus, let's see what we at Esporting will be doing with the third attack, but there is possibility they will be tied on the time as well. Uh... Any order update? Surgical is for with the third triple. I'm waiting for the buff root riders. How is there another attack? Nice jinx. What? I didn't jinx anything. When is Nav Navi match? Navi is not playing anymore today, guys. There is spin message. Navi and MMG are qualified, guys. They are not playing. They are done. Uh, next Navi match in different tournament will be Monday. So, so tomorrow. No way that ET can get another defense. I know. That will be tough. Seeing Tribe failing twice. I don't think so, but... You never know. You guys were saying that you know the other Tribe will be not failing at all. And here we go, so... Are you alright? VN was faster. 1 minute 25 seconds from... Uh, okay, Diego was fast with the triple. Now pressure on EA. Are hitting the triple for buff root riders, uh, but it's not changing much with the time. Reconic still leading there. Okay, we are live with Ava. We have all side going in here. So this is a uh, port hit. Let's see, going against Kronos base. So now we're being protected by two invisible towers. Okay, so the log launcher is a good way how you can activate, or is one of the way how you can activate it is uh, in with spell towers. Uh, eagle about to be in clear, I just thought we have some bulk on it. Actually, the king went back. Uh, interesting, the healers uh, from Queen Ability uh, kind of start following the king and they die quickly. The single inferno melt the queen, so rip it only for her. Now the Rude Riders with the King taking down the Town Hall. Axe is right now near to the Tesla farm. There is also a lot of Skelly traps. So right now Axe is just chasing these Skellies. Again, another set of the Skellies plus the Giant Bomb being triggered. That one healer trying to support these Rude Riders. Many of them are low health and also still taking the damage from the Poison. This is so close. Uh, what we have? Hawk pa okay, Hawk is gonna be good here because there is single Inferno, multi archer tower being clear. So I think so with the Hawk doll and the haze, it's gonna be enough here. He even have the freeze for the single Inferno. So Imperium Titans 
able to hit another three star. Not giving up. All right, ten stars for them. Maybe pressure up, you know. Ryuta with the three star for reckoning. Still holding uh, same average time. VA, Leo with the triple there. Then then hitting the triple for a uh, Penta player, but they have that one fail, 97% two star. Yeah, that one was triple. Triple all day. There's still people complaining. Your time for seven icon is really uh, coming together. I didn't know that you are playing also the lower town halls. Now another defense. It would make the war very, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, imagine that would be like crazy ending of the match. Who we have with the attack left? Nebrax and Yoyo for the tribe and Mazier for the Imperium. Hi Dreamfire, hello. EA war is very close. Yeah, but look at this Maravi attack didn't help EA with the time. There is possibility that EA will lose on the time. Still few attacks left, but I think so what was EA was on 1 minute 31, now they're on 1 minute 33. Alright, we have Yo-Yo. With the Rude Riders, okay. Kelly is still distracting the RC and the x -Bow. He's using the Frozen Arrow on the Queen. Right, Poison on the Super Dragon and the Archers. Rude Rider is already reaching the Eagle. Now the king is nearby the town hall, but I have feeling that Super Dragon actually uh, doing the work here because right now no one is targeting the Super Dragon. Like where are his Root Riders? Hello, Root Riders are gone. Super Hoggies, which came from the siege barrack, are now kind of pushing with the with the warden, he deployed the royal champion to kind of make his kill squad a little bit bigger. The super dragon getting the value because it destroyed a lot of his troops. Town hall got activated. Oh my god, I'm scared. Are you kidding me? No way. Can yo yo recover here? Guys, like the town hall is still there. Look at how far is the queen and the king. Royal champion with the hawk and the haze. Actually, RC going for the town hall. It's not gonna be enough. There is a tornado trap at the charm ball. Trap gaming is hitting one star. No way. What? We have... Oh, wow. Oh my god, we can lose the tribe. This is crazy! Oh, poor Yo-Yo, this is really went wrong for him there. <laughs> he 
Imagine if he actually was able to snipe the down wall. It was so close. I don't think so there was anything else he could do. Warren because of Pekka. This is changing everything. Tribe is behind on the percentage, behind on the star as well. Oh my. This is single elimination match, guys. I, I cannot believe. See? Imperium Titans can be happy they haven't given up. Many of you were uh, saying, oh no, my camera is not focusing, that it's over for Imperium Titans and look at what's happened. Oh my, EA is in the trouble. VN is really, really fast with the three star, but let's go for the final, final attack from Imperium Titans. They actually don't ever need to hit a triple. You should use the ability earlier. And you know, easy to say now. I remember that border wasn't smart too. Like I have feeling that Yoyo got really unlucky there. Alright, Maziar is in with the Lalo, so he'll have Puppet on the Queen, allowing her to finish the Inferno. He will be blimping Town Hall. Yeah, I really have feeling that uh, Warden ruined it for him. Don't need the trap. Actually, RC taking a lot of damage. She did some uh, damage to the Town Hall, she's still fighting, yet he's been able to finish the Town Hall, he's losing the Royal Champion, but he still had plenty of rules to clear a bunch of defenses around. All these rules will have to go way back for the scatter shot here, but there's no way the scatter can handle and protect of the base against this group of the rules. Maziar will be hitting the three star for Imperium Titans, Try Gaming is out, guys. Try Gaming will lose the chance to fight for the golden ticket this month. There's gonna be still a few more. Oh my god, there is really a lot of swag. I, I didn't even check how many spells he has, actually. Yeah. Wow. At least of you, you're gonna have nightmares about that warden. This is, uh, this is insane. I think many, many of us thought that we're gonna see Tri Gaming, one of the teams playing for the golden ticket. So they will have still four more chances actually for the golden ticket. But you know, every time you are losing the chance to play for the golden ticket, it's gonna be more and more pressure. But they are out, how I say, everything is single elimination. Imperium Titans, insane. Even after one star, still able to take the W. So congratulations to them. Right now, my eyes are on EA and VN esporting. You can see VN esporting is much, much faster with the attacks. 1 minute 22 seconds. EA, Rigo was faster. It's helped EA a little bit with the time. So that final is 1 minute 30 seconds. Final attack of the VN esporting will be deciding everything. Reckoning, congratulations to them. They are winning against Bathroot Riders. That was 92% uh, final attack from Bathroot Riders. VA really with the good time and also 15 uh, stars. So they are advancing to the next round. Um, Renegados with the first fail, but still doing really uh, well against Indian Riders. Uh, surgical is for everything depends if they can hit anything above a 97 percent two star there's possibility the penta flare will be out as well never say never that's so correct
Puri Yoyo, yeah. Yeah, I feel sorry for him there, yeah. That was uh, sad to see what Warder was doing, but... Like, he tried his best there, you know? It's happened. It's happened. All right, we have Nebrax final attack here for try gaming. He coming in here with the root riders and overgrowth spell. Okay, Imperium Titans using again dragons. So some of the city which we sell were super dragon. This time going with the double dragon here. Who is on this will be helping. He's also deploying the royal champion because the dragons right now chasing the vaults and some of the root riders. So Arsty should be locked on these dragons and help. Right now we have two groups of the root riders. Bottom group of the root riders in the range of the enemy king. I don't see headhunters, so they're gonna die quickly there. Queen right now kind of far away from them. Super hoggies are reaching the scatter shot. There is also tornado trap, which is kind of slowing down that group of the hogs, including the warden. Uh, but we still have Queen with the ability. I see already reaching the monolith. Uh, seriously fast three star from Nebrax. Like no issue at all. And try gaming. We'll be finishing this match with the 12 stars. How I say everything was single elimination. So we are losing try gaming in the lower bracket of the monthly qualifier of the April. All right, let's check the rest of the order matches. We, we know some of them. Uh, actually, Theosy Ward uh, failed the attack. There was 91%. Surgical East 4 with the victory against uh, Pentaflare. So we know that Surgical East 4 surviving, Reckoning surviving, VA surviving, Imperium Titan surviving, Robin Hood clan surviving. And now we are waiting for the final attack from VN. And I think so, Re Renegados got this. Pay time, yeah. This is this was crazy match. Like I didn't even think we're gonna see something like this. That was crazy. Tribe jinx themselves by sen uh, setting Nebras as close instead of opener. I don't think so. That was the. You can't restart every time, you know? Alright, I want to know VN. VN. Did I hit a triple? Hi, Max. Hello. Never doubt uh, Imperium Titans. Oh, sure, don't. Sure. Wasn't you like the first person who say it's over for them? Wow. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I want to know who won. Is it VN or is it EA? Who won? <clears throat> Colorful star in your name, look at the Robin Hood clan. Oh yeah. I didn't know that either. Triple? You just don't know time? They won by one second. VN won. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, you are right. One minute, 29 seconds. Jeez, that war was close. That's crazy, you know, like that you are that, that close. So EA is out. EA as well will be not playing for the golden ticket. All right. Um, so I will be streaming one more round. So from what I see, will be VN Esporting versus Reckoning, and I think so. That's the match will, which I will be streaming. VA versus, I guess they will go against Renegados. I can't imagine that Renegados gonna lose there. 
uh, Imperium Titans versus I don't know what's happened here. You can say that it is for a loss, so head start. Uh, surgical is for versus Robin Hood clan, so I think I'm gonna go to Reckoning. I think that's our plan, so let me. Yeah, that it was slow. I don't know how fast the guys were. Sorry. Alright, let me go to Reckoning. Let's do that war. Yeah, they will have chance next month, of course, but of course you wanted to play every time you can play for the golden ticket. Like teams like this, they have also a lot of pressure because they know they have to make it. Yeah, Renegados, uh, Renegados won. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Luxy. Luxy is always always nice to me when when he needs something, you know? That's when he is nice to me. Hold on, this is uh let me close this one. You ignore me on Eric's stream. I was talking to you and you ignore me, Mr. Fluxy. Stream VM. A VM is not playing yet. VM Legacy is playing next. And I'm not gonna be around, I'm sorry. This will be the last round I will be covering, so I will be hosting. When did I ignore you? On Eric's stream, I don't know what I asked you. I, I was asking you something and you totally ignored me twice. Susie, can you stream V versus Renegados? No one is streaming that one. What the other people are streaming? I cannot really check this all the streamers. Oh, oh shoot! Hold on, let me. Sorry, if that's gonna be. I don't know what. What the? Uh... Oh my god! What carbon fin is streaming? I have no clue what he's streaming. Eric showing tribe uh, attack still, so I'm not sure. You should ban Fluxy. I bought the popcorn to watch you, Suzy. What, what do you want to watch, Rob? Oh, you mean I'm, I'm sorry? It's real life. I'm sorry, uh, Rob. It's nothing I like. You know me. I. I would stream every round. Uh, every round and I just can't. Chat say VA. You don't know what carbon streaming uh Eddie Gang Coco. Uh, style is streaming uh, VA versus Renegados, I can tell you that. Haplo streaming uh, Robin Hood versus Surgical. Uh, Boss LA streaming VA versus Renegados. Zolo streaming 
uh, Rene Garros versus VA. And I think so soccer is streaming Rene Garros and VA. <laughs> There is a lot of people streaming. Does it read what you want? I just check what everyone is streaming. <laughs> there is like five streamers streaming VA versus Renegados. We don't speak Spanish. I don't speak English. <laughs> and what? How many people are watching my stream muted, you know, and they're watching for the hits? Hi, Drew. Hello. Drew, what I should do about this Fluxy guy? So true, Susie. I know. <laughs> it's not like lie or anything. I surely don't. What? Have me on mute? Hmm. Check eight screen once. Uh, you have to change this one. Put VA there. Listen here and stream VA. But these are guys, uh, you know, reckoning. You know, Nairo and Ryuta. I like them. Is Navi still in tournament? They qualified. Everybody's streaming that. I'm sorry, Drew. You know, I really try to stream different. Like, I, I went live with the Synchronic and uh, MMG. And so I was only one who was streaming. I'm trying to stream different with the other one. But this is like... Reckoning is close to my heart, if that makes sense. So, that's why. I already lost EA. <laughs> so, I want to be really seeing what Reckoning will do. Predictions? I will. Sorry. Bye, Susie. I will be selling from now on since have some work, but we'll play stream on the background. Oh, okay, Antonio. No worries. No worries. All good. You want to see VA versus VN? Uh, can they face each other? Uh, there is possibility for them. Hold on. I think so, pero... My perro is calling me. <laughs> Did I do something? Okay. That is possibly it could happen that VN would be facing VA, but that they have a long, long way. Because VN would have to go through the reckoning, through the tank, they will made it. VA would have to go through the Renegados and through the VM legacy. But it's possibility. They have a long, long day. Like these rounds, like four and fifth, there's so many amazing wars. So many amazing words. Yes, VM Legacy is playing next round. Yes. Uh, when Fluxy wanted you to stream VA, it's most, most likely because no other streamers cover it. You are his last option. I could believe that. 
<laughs> I couldn't believe that. <laughs> TWB is out, yes. Welcome in. All right, this is last hour. You can enjoy Suzy after Suzy out. Uh, I will be hosting one of the streamers, so they're gonna keep uh, keeping you with the another action of the Carbon Finish streaming VA and a Renegado. So they have English streamer. So that's cool. You just complete the Cosmo upper bracket final solar. I'm last. We don't have percentage, but uh, have 99%. One star. Oh no! The last building has like zero HP. Oh rip. Sorry, Vishnu. Ajiang, welcome from Vietnam. Hello. Hi, Killer. Welcome in. All right, predictions are up. We are like four minutes away from first attack. Single elimination. Let's check eight screen. If that work, perfect. So thank you very much, uh, Nagesh. So right now there are four wars happening at the same time. All are single elimination. So VA versus Renegados, VA Sporting versus Reckoning, Imperium Titans versus Headstar, and Robin Hood Clan versus Surgical Esport. All right, these are the four uh, wars. Pum, 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 pum. Let's see who will win. Where I am from, Slovakia. Yeah, Agbari, it was interesting. But they still won. Hmm. So is now Damien playing instead of Rin? Is this like their official uh, lineup for the Reckoning? Angry Jelly on King gonna be fun. Yeah, that new pet uh, giving you so many options. It's amazing. Yeah, really, a lot of uh, possibilities. Oh, they did, Sebastian, they did. Good luck for tomorrow. Uh, what is tomorrow? Why are you wishing me good luck? Good luck for tomorrow. What I don't know. Yeah, eight screen is perfect. Oh my goodness. I know why he's telling me good luck tomorrow. <sighs> ay, 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 ay. This is why he's saying good luck tomorrow. This is why I could like tomorrow. Alright, Navi versus Chacha. Oh, Synchronic is playing same time. Oh my god, Shy Gaming versus Pentaflair or EA versus Chacha and Navi. I can tell you I'm not gonna be streaming this evening. Oh shoot, this evening's wars. 
But I will probably, I will definitely open with the Navi versus Chacha. But I can't decide between these two. EA or Try Gaming, and after Navi versus Sot. So I'm not sure what to do. This decision I hate when this I have to do. Sixteen of April is fine. It's not that much. Monday is stuck. I could stream this war of Synchronic. But it's not that late. I could stream this one. Okay. Tomorrow probably three hour stream. You send me bracket up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, what do you want to watch tomorrow? Try versus Penta player or EA versus Chacha? You will be deciding, guys. But we are live again this time with the Reckoning versus VNE Sporting against similar situation, guys. Single elimination match. These teams have still plenty of rounds until they can or have chance to qualify for the playoff of the Golden Ticket. All right, Damian is in. And coming in, of course, with the uh, Root Riders. Uh, deploying the RC from 12 o'clock. Uh, jump for the King. So King kind of gonna meet up with the Root Riders in the core of the base. The action going against the Super Minions and the Headhunters. Royal Champion got fooled by the enemy King. Now she is back and fighting towards the Monolith, where we are using the Skelly spell to distract. He's using the overgrowth spell over the town halls, scatter shots, and the infernos. Queen is on the egg bow. Okay, that's it for the queen. Now we're using the rage spell. This is good value of the rage and also free it. So we are also clearing this test slot. And he's kind of quick uh, with clearing all these defenses around. So now we just have to wait for the town hall and the rest of the defenses being visible. Puzzle Spell Tower got activated, so he's gonna get a lot of his hawks. King even triggering the Tornado Trap. RC already helping with the Town Hall. Damien will be hitting the 3 star for a Reckoning, and it is a good start for them, because I don't think it was that slow hit. It was definitely under 1 minute 20 seconds. Hi Namon, hello, hello. Welcome in. Hi Susan from Iraq, welcome. Uh, anyone has Ashish base link? I don't. Uh, Renegados with the triple, 1 minute 44 seconds. I think this, this is gonna be challenge for the Renegados. I don't trying to be mean, but I was kind of keeping guys uh, like from all this round that Renegados was playing. I don't have feeling they are fast with the triples. Like VA feels like they're on another level with the fast triple. So Renegados, I have a feeling if they want to win, they need to get a defense. Maybe I'm totally wrong here. But we are really pulling like average time around 1 minute 17 seconds. Something under 1 minute 20 seconds. Uh, surgical is for with the triple. And this war is a little bit behind the Imperium Titans and Head Start. They still have a few minutes before the first attack. Yeah, that's how I feel about that match. Like, Renegados can hit the 15 stars, but I really, like, all the timing were around, like, 2 minutes, you know? 80 seconds hit. Oh, that's nothing, Naman. There are 56 seconds triples. No tribal loss, Borak. Reckoning is Indian clan. No, a Reckoning organization is from India. Uh, but Reckoning is now international. I don't know where uh, Damien is from, uh, but Ryuta, Nairom, uh, Morio and Kuma are from Japan. 
Uh, 56 seconds, I believe. Yeah, by General X. Mm -hmm. That's the record. Most of them are streaming V uh, and versus Reckoning. Uh, Carbon stream, well, Carbon is streaming VA versus Renegados. Haplo is streaming uh, Robin Hood clan. And I don't know if someone is streaming he uh, Head Start team. All right, Andy. So we have uh, VN with the first attack. So Reckoning hit the triple under 1 minute 18 seconds. Let's see how the VN will start. So immediately Rudriders into the town hall, Warden ability protecting all of them. He's using the overgrown spell at the defenses at the back. There was also Invis spell tower, which got just activated, so making a bunch of defenses invisible. Uh, we don't really have many root riders around the multi inferno, so he's using the freeze and also the tornado trap being triggered on the side. Some of the Tesla, looks like all Tesla farm is at 12 o'clock, he's playing the royal champion there. And then freeze a rage for the core of the base, trying to speed up his hit. Timing looking really good for him. Alright, RC. Even King now on the storage. Queen helping with the storage as well. Feels like the ND is faster with the triple than the Reckoning. Good job by VN Esporting. That hit was 1 minute 11 seconds. Naman, you haven't watched like the pro matches for a while that's what is it right now yeah see look at the first attack from v8 1 minute 18 seconds time they already has huge lead against the renegados robin hood clan with the fail 88 pets and two star surgical is for with the holder Did stars even get uh, one minute? Uh, stars hit some crazy fast triple, but I don't know if that was under 60 seconds. Uh, it's really hard to keep up with the old timing. Mm -hmm. Don't insult the 99. What about me? One starting. Hi, Swift. Hello. Downhole 15 was boring? What? I never ever would uh, call Downhole 15 meta was boring. Downhole 15 meta was in my eyes amazing to watch i know as the casual player you probably like weren't happy because it was hard to triple i know that but town of 15 wars pro wars were amazing to watch jeez i enjoyed it so so much like it's just even showing how much i was streaming you know Chiava, hello welcome welcome lot of love Chiava. You guys did well. Little bit unlucky with that one star, but Chia was still OP. We have Nairom. Second attack for a reckoning. Right now, VN is 14. Has a time lead here. Uh, Nairom is coming in here with the Super Dragons. Also, VN Esporting is using the Super Dragon uh, in the CC. Air Defense is surviving, he's deploying few loons. 
Alright, Super Dragon took down the second air defense. Group of the dragons now reaching the eagle. He's using the flame flinger from 3 o'clock side. He has healer puppet and uh, frozen arrow on the queen. Right now, King should be tanking most of the defenses for the queen. There's one Super Dragon front of the scatter shot. Big group of the Super Dragon already cleared the town hall. We are using the all of freeze over the multi inferno. As is still fighting some of the skellies. Finally, Fox making the royal champion invisible. RC on the mono, Nairom is doing well. It, it's three star, I really depends how the second attack from VNE Sporting will go, but this will be attack, I don't know, 1 minute 30? 1 minute 30, 1 second. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, it's still a great job by Nairom. Like, they have 1 minute 24 second average time, but... We'll see. I think it really depends how the another attack from VNE Sporting will go. Well, is that better? Alright, we have Renegados with the second triple there. But their time is 1 minute 43 seconds. The first attack between Imperium Titans and the Head Star should be happening. A surgical is for with the second triple. What is Giant Gauntlet? Is a hero ability for the king. Epic one. In Mega King of being gigantic. So he's like huge. And he's doing, when you use that ability, he is extra strong and also doing splash damage during the duration yes uh, now we qualified yes they did hi hiroya oh sad face i'm so sorry hiroya i really really wanted to see you there guys made it to the finals don't worry next month hiroya you're gonna get there you still very amazing You haven't watched it for two years, Naman? I don't feel like you haven't been here for two years. Do we have free reverse today? No, not today. Okay, we have Eltano going in. Altano will be using Zap Lalo against Morio base. A lot of Buddha hats in the core of the base. Interesting. Eagle, Scatter Shooter, two Poison Spell Towers. Okay, Eltano is in. So using the golem in front of the queen, he has healer puppet. King will be uh, aiming to clear the town hall. He zapped the eagle and the monolith. Okay, not bad value, right? Not bad value at all. King with the ability taking down the town hall. Now Queen can get some value, she can reach the multi-inferno. Now he's starting with the Lalo. So the one of the poison spell tower already got activated. Second one is on the loose, but right now they're being protected by the warden ability. I guess he's he just gonna land with the blim for the scatter shot. Right? 
Moon's actually reaching the enemy warden. He has Dragon Rider there. He's freezing around the scatter. Queen pulling the CC troops. Dragon Rider immediately targeting the scatter. Queen now gonna be locked on the CC troops. Altano smashing it. No. This is a great attack. I like it. Some of the moons are dropping, but it's not even close. And VN is putting, hitting the second three star. We need a bit slow down at the end because we lost a couple of the troops, especially because everything has to go for the air defense. So this could help a reckoning with the time here. Uh, but it still was a great attack attacked by Eltano right now VN Esporting is on 1 minute 21 seconds reckoning 1 minute 24 seconds you're gonna dye your hair purple next time I don't know what I'm gonna do about hair yet I'm gonna definitely cut my hair uh, the style which I had before when I'm gonna have time uh but i don't know what the uh, color i will use don't want free stuff who doesn't right who doesn't all right hector and imperium titans with the triples both in with the triple robin hood clan with the first triple in max hitting the triple for va so now VA is on 1 minute 22 seconds. Oh, Clown, they lost their out. They lost their match. Nobody's watching this wars feels like watching sprint who is faster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob, you are older than me, so. When is Navi playing? Navi is playing tomorrow. Navi is playing tomorrow. Wow, uh, Morio will be using Overgrowth spell with the Lalo. This is something what LG is doing. Uh, and also his Overgrowth spell is not max level. This one is level 3, so I don't know what is the duration for the level 3. Something 24 seconds? I don't know, I'm just guessing. If anyone knows in the chat, please let me know. Right now he's deploying the king, already clearing air defense there and the eagle. Been using the frozen arrow. Wooden ability, of course, protecting the blimp with the group of the wolves. He used the overgrowth spell on the right side. There was the air defense and the archer tower. Interesting. Tornado trap catching up the blimp, but we still are next to the town hall. He's using the moves and the dragon rider. Town hall being clear, clear. Now he's using the freeze over the monolith, but sadly the dragon rider wasn't able to finish it. He's using the another freeze spell, this time freezing the air defense and helping the moves with the raid spell there. Royal Champion is already down, guys. Now we have only few moons left. There is still a bunch of defenses. This multi archer tower is still looking scary. Queen has... Ooh, Queen... Da we have two haste spells. Why we are not using the haste? Why we are not using the haste? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Mario! Ah, Reckoning! Reckoning Ripperoni! Macaroni here, guys! Did he didn't see the hay spell? I don't know if this still would be enough. Twenty-six seconds is for the level three. And twenty-eight for level four. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's also not that high percent. This is very similar situation Reckoning had a few words back. Night, like 85 percent. It's scary, it's not enough percentage. 
they still can win i'm not saying it's uh, like over for them but it will be tough Uh, said that I'm good, thank you very much. Calling for, for this oh, Monte Quest are so hard. What is the format they're using for the last chance qualifier? So last chance qualifier will have the winners from the community tournaments. Uh, I believe so ESL will be one of them because ESL going global so that's made me think that ESL will be one of the community tournament which will be hosting the silver ticket I don't think so if that is out or it's just what I think uh, I don't know which all the community tournaments will be but the last chance uh, qualifier for the or last chance uh, for the golden ticket it will be coming from the community tournament so if you win the community tournament you are earning the silver ticket and with the silver ticket you can enter Lashans qualifier so i think so that's how it will be a suzy cap <laughs> uh, sadly the supercell didn't ask me i know huh, they didn't ask me All right, demo is in. So now we can forget about we can forget about the time. This is now all about stars. Demo coming in here with the Rude Riders and the Overgrowth spell, activating the town hall and also, of course, doing some damage around. We use the Overgrowth spell inside the core of the base. Okay, a bunch of defenses, of course, went invisible. Now everything should go back for the monolith. It keep freezing the core of the base. Queen staying outside of the base with the frozen arrow. RC already uh, getting some value. And I guess we have Hawk and the Haze on her. Some of the Teslas showing up. I don't see really any uh, root riders. Okay, my bad. There's one root rider in front of the queen. Uh, but as you can see, his king is right now stuck on the wall. If the king is smart, he will go exactly this way. Uh, so that was perfect though. And Demo hitting the three star here. And how I say, this war is not anymore about the time. So VN is putting can chill and just go for the safe three star. Imagine that it's tournament sponsored by streamers. I was thinking of doing something like that. Like it will be like streamer cup and all streamers will kind of, you know, do some small sponsoring and invite like it will be open for the teams. That would be so cool, right? If every streamer like kind of donate for the prize pool, it's gonna be amazing prize pool. That would be cool. All right, hate is with the triple for VA. And VA is still quite fast there. Surgical is for with the third triple. Imperium Titans hitting the second triple there. Vic, hello, Grandpa, how are you? Tikro. I, I, call, you know, I call you old man. And look at this. Vic is Grandpa. So you don't have to feel bad. Uh, I, but I'm not sure how many. I don't think so they gave us more information. We have to wait for it. Right now we know information about monthly qualifiers. No, I have, like, what would you prefer to be called? Like, like old man or grandpa
like you would call me by preference funny i would that's why i'm asking you or tap out king that's what you would like we have kuma with the zablalo reckoning right now in the trouble because it is single elimination match and Stali they had one fail here kuma already zapping the one of the compartments where we have the inferno with the enemy queen and now deploying his hero dive actually he's using the golem with the queen he has frozen arrow on the queen here King will be patting towards the X-Bow and the Eagle. Also, we start pulling the CC troops. So again, this time we are going against Ice Golems. Ice Golems deploy in front of the, uh, his RC. So that's helping against the enemy Royal Champion. With the Headhunter health, the RC didn't take any damage. Now, Queen is able to reach the uh, Visitor. And we are starting here with the moves. Right, he will be blimping the town hall. There is few Teslas around the single inferno. RC taking another inferno down. Queen is on the scatter shot. Good job by Queen there. Yet it's no issue with the town hall. King still has panic. Now Queen is mostly on the cleanup duty. RC will be catching up. She will be helping with the monolith. Alun's already doing well. They should be able to clear the air defense. Just need the real champion to go for the scatter. One minion in the raid there, triggering the tornado trap. Queen went back for the Tesla for the smart queen. And Reckoning hitting the three star here. GG. GG there. Actually, yeah, Queen was smart uh, going for the Tesla. Yep. I also saw some bases with the troll Teslas. I don't leave where I have to tip on everything. In a Slovakia, you tip if you want to. But... It's not the rule. Like if you don't don't leave the tip, it does is not nice. But it's many times happened. Like like I was working in the restaurant. Some people don't bother to tip at all. But it's not the rule at all. Alright, so we're gonna go with the tap out king. Okay, Kura. I'll try to remember that. But you know how is my memory. I don't have level six walls, Vic. You're probably looking at your base. GG means good game. When my queen will be so smart. I don't know, that queen was seriously smart. Because she went for the Tesla. Alright, sorry, I forgot to check the order matches. Uh, Rakibul hitting the triple for Imperium Titans. Headstar, headed fell, 97% true star. Robin Hood clan with the second triple. Renegados and VA, so far triples, but VA is past. Surgical is for actually adding the four triple. Oh, Renegados with the fail. 95% 2 star. Yeah, we are now don't even have to focus on the time. They're looking good there. They are, aren't, they're facing... What are they gonna face if they win? Oh! VM! I know why Fluxy want me to stream. I got it. All right, let's see. Nylon under. So, reckoning for attacks done. Three triples in. Is it gonna plan to take down the town hall with the queen? Because she can reach the town hall from outside. 
And that way the root riders don't have to go anywhere close. But as you can see, this group of the root riders stuck as they are fighting or they are in the group, uh, near to the royal champion, which is fighting the ice column. <coughs> Sorry. The core of the base being clear. Queen took down the town hall. Now the root riders should be fighting towards the multi inferno. Already we have group of the Vals and of course we have also a siege barrack, that's why we still have Pekar with the uh, wizard clearing around. Now the Hawk uh, though on the Royal Champion actually went with the shielder. So Mian is putting Selki uh, going strong here with the four triple and they are not far away from the victory here. Yeah, usually it is Haste and the Hawk, yeah. Uh, money not doing base review if you are asking for that. Where is my cat? Oh, I don't know. I, th I think so they are in my room. That's true, Rob. <laughs> That's so true. Okay. VA with the four triple, so honestly, VA all they need is anything above ninety five percent two star. You just watch that try gaming match and that warden on the yo yo attack. I know, I know, that was brutal. What do you think about the sneak peeks? Uh, I think I like the new pet. New pet is OP. So many things you can do. I like it with the king. I like it with the warden as well. So that's kind of cool. New defense level. I expect that it will be coming. And yeah, you like it with the royal champion. What? RC going for the defenses. Why would you use it on the RC? It was a... Uh, was it like kind of trick question? Guys, head start with the second fell. Again, not a 97% to star. New pet seems bad. It's not bad. ET use the same. Two same bases, right? I don't know. Uh, the jelly bed, yeah. A <laughs> uh, week I try even to sending the queen to take down the town hall with that bed. So we don't really funnel for the queen. She will go to the town hall. I like it. it's so many possibilities you can do with that bed. I like it. But I don't know if they're gonna be changing any other combinations. So of course it's not gonna go with the royal champion because RC doesn't need uh RC over targeting the defenses. Okay, Ryuta is in. Coming with the Super Dragons. That's actually second Super Dragon from them. This is the final attack. Right now, Ryuta has to hit a triple and hoping that we and Esporting will make the mistake. That will went down quickly here. Uh, already over the Monolith. Uh, sadly, the Super Dragons didn't clear it because the Monolith being protected, there is all enemy heroes on the bottom side of the base. King with the ability now fighting against the king. Queen already is uh, chasing some of the his loons. Arts is on the visit tower. Headhunters being deployed, so helping as the enemy queen. Now, good value of the free spell. So his queen using the ability, so we have healer puppet. Also using the rage on the royal champion freezing. He still have one more free spell, so we can freeze even that X ball and the end with the multi archer tower. And Ryuta hitting the three star for reckoning. And the fate of the reckoning is in the Viennese sporting hands because 
there was that one fail which was let's keep eyes on 86 percent so we have diego with the attack left anything less than 86 percent to start from diego is victory for reckoning anything above vn is 14 don't get this hi gazi hello I really like to use it with the queen like she you know because you usually have few defenses around the town hall but if you bring like healer puppet and you have the angry jelly with the queen like she's gonna go for the defenses after she will take down the town hall and you don't have to be worried about funneling because she's ignoring the trash buildings around I don't know uh, I like that pet is uh, interesting and I'm sure like the pro player is gonna show us the best way Good to see you happy, Susie. Susie, always happy. Always. Alright, VA eSport. Anything above 95%. Robin Hood clan is very, very similar uh, position like the Reckoning. Hoping to get the defense. Right now, Head Start is in the huge trouble because they failed to attack. It's not over yet for them, um, but we'll see what's happened. It should make the ISC attack no defenses for the new pet. Nah. Surgical fail, but they hit a higher percentage, so they made it. They're still surviving. Robin Hood clan will be out. Surgical is for. Congrats to them, they are taking the W. Wow, Imperium Titans has actually 97% fail. There's three 97% to start in that match. We are going to the final attack of our match here. VNE Sporting, all they need is 87% to start. And they will get a W and advance into the next round of the lower bracket. Angry Jelly is more for no pro players. Um, I don't know. I still think that they're gonna find a way how to use it. Maybe I'm wrong here. We'll see. Oh, that is a very unique pet, you know, so I like that. That is unique. Alright, Golem is very nicely tanking for the queen. With the frozen arrow, even slowing down the enemy king, we use the headhunter to help. Alright, we have a bunch of root riders still alive with the big group of the vault at the 6 o'clock. Queen is now on the town hall. Pekka still paneling outside of the base using a bunch of super barbs. Three heroes abilities. Diego is hitting three star. Diego is hitting the three star and VN is porting. We'll take the W here against the Reckoning. And they will be staying in the lower bracket here. Reckoning will be out of the competition to, uh, this month. They will have no chance to play for the golden ticket this month. Good job by Diego. Congratulations to VN Esporting for the victory here. 15 to 14. Uh, on the 8th screen we can see that uh, Surgical Espor won. Uh, there is still a bunch of minis left between Imperium Titans and Head Start. Waiting for the final attack from VA. While we are waiting, let me show you the update version of the bracket. So, the tank will be facing VN Esporting. VM Legacy, probably against VA, waiting for the final attack from VA. Uh, NGT Legends, we'll see, that war is still close. 
X-Team Early Bird will go against Surgical Esport. Alright, these are the teams left so far. Let's go back on that 8th screen to give you update about the VA. But I can tell you I will be hosting. I will send you to Eric. I apologize, but only two, three rounds today. and cannot really cover the final rounds, but I will send you to Eric and you guys can watch uh, the final rounds there. Uh, also, there is many, many streamers live on Twitch and YouTube, so you can check uh, who you want to watch. But I want to say huge thank you guys for watching. I hope so you enjoyed the weekend with me. It was quite a uh, busy action from Clash of Clans. I will be back tomorrow. I think so. We will be kicking off with the Navi War tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. UTC, okay? Navi versus Chacha Esport tomorrow with the Baneru Riders, which is kind of cool. So that's what I will be streaming and we'll decide what we'll be doing next. But thank you very much guys for watching. Uh, you ca guys can keep up with the bracket in the game, but also there's still two more rounds which will be covered by all the streamers. So I will send you to Eric. Enjoy your weekend guys. See you tomorrow. Stay safe. And again, thank you very much for every like, every follow, and for being here. It means a lot to me, especially when there are all the streamers and you guys decide to still watch my stream. Thank you very much for that. A lot of love, a lot of love. Uh, you can see that VA hit the perfect wall, so they will be facing VM Legacy. All right, Susie out. Enjoy the stream with the Eric. See you tomorrow. Uh, Navi versus Chacha is for where they cannot use the root riders and that match will be at 3 p.m utc lot of love and bye bye everyone love you bye 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 bye